So hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to query a REST API with pagination on pages and the next ID token, okay? And we're going to use a Mastodon API to understand how many servers they have and how many users. And I am on Mastodon, it's actually quite good because you don't have any API, you don't have, you know, any AI-driven uh, feeds you actually get to see the content that the people you follow posts and there's no advertising. It's actually super nice. So enjoy while it lasts. I am there. This is my personal Mastodon account. If you want to join me there, let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. We are going to query the instances.social, which is an API that provides you all the servers available on Mastodon, all the users, active users. It won't give you a timeline, but it will give you the totals, okay? And you need to register for an API. You click here and you just, you know, request a token, a API. It will be given to you. And you have to set the authorization header as, you know, in this method, okay? So that's what we're going to do first. And this is, we don't want to have the samples instances, we want to have a list of all the instances. So we're going to go there. Okay, so we're going to go to Power Query. I've already put my key on a parameter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to New Source, Web, and Advanced. I'm going to paste the query that we want to run. Here it said we have to have authority and then here we have to put better and then the uh, key so the key that you got from them so you put it in there with a space click OK and then you will get a request with let me show you so you're gonna get the first this is going to tell you how many pages you have, which is 4,399, and this is going to take you the next token ID. So and we need to grab those in order to be able to paginate this thing. One thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change the API key uh, that it was literal to the parameters I get back in a second. Moments later. Okay, so as you see, since I've taken away the key directly from there and I just put my parameter there, click done, nothing changes, we still have our total and our pagination. Okay, so now, what do we do? So I have created a video where I showed you um, how to paginate a REST API when you knew the number of pages. So this is going to be quick. If you need all the details, just go to that video. If you want to find all my pagination videos, go to curval.com, Curval Learning Portal, search for pagination. And here you will find all of them. The one that I'm referring to is this one. Pagination on a REST API when you know the number of pages. It will be posted in the links down below. If I forget, please tell me. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to drill down to this. This is the total number of pages that you need to request to the API. We're going to add a new step, and here we're going to add uh, list numbers. So this is going to create a list of all the pagination that we need to do the numbers. If you look at the documentation, it says that the size of the count that you can do is max 100. So we need to set that. So we're going to do start from 100 and then do total divided by 100 because this is the number of times you need to do something by 100. And this is going to generate a list from 100 to the total number of pages that we need. And then we're going to do two tables. Okay. And now suddenly we have a list of the pages that we need to loop over in order to have our pagination. This has to be text. Okay, so if we go to the documentation, this took me forever to understand, but uh, here at the bottom, it says 
that to get the pagination, you need to have this minimum ID, okay? So you need to do count for number of pages and then minimum ID for pagination, which basically means if we go here to our list, here the, um, they said that the default was, what was it? The default number of pages is 20. So if you don't specify any number of pages, you will get 20. Let me show you how that works. So if here, if I do question mark count 20, and then get the number of instances, you see that it gets 20, then I can do max to 100, as the documentation said. You need to always read the documentation of the APIs, otherwise you have no idea how to do anything. And then you can see that you get 100. So in order to paginate through this, we need to add this bit to our query, okay? So when we do this, it's going to give us a new authorization uh, token. I'm going to show you how that works. Um, we're going to... Let me do this. We're going to duplicate this first because we don't want to, when we're testing, you don't want to test that many pages. I always find that it's better to page like, I don't know, five. Otherwise you will be waiting forever depending on how slow this thing is. Not there. 100, instead of total 100, we want to have five, right? And then we do all that stuff. Okay, so now we have five paginations that we're going to do. Um, now, what we're going to do is go up here and we're going to copy our query, the initial query, go back to our test. This, this is going to be our true instances. And this is our test. So we don't get lost. And then we're going to get add column, custom column, and I'm going to paste this here, call it whatever, it doesn't matter. And then we are going to add, instead of count 100, what we want to do is count the pages that we just created. So these number of pages. And it's going to run, and it's going to tell us, if we go through the pagination, the nest ID token. As you can see here, now we have all the ID tokens that we need in order to be able to call the API for the page 200, for the page 300. And now we're going to do the final step. So the final step is as follows. In order to, according to the documentation, in order to be able to do the pagination. So let me grab one of these tokens. Um, I can grab it from here though. So let me grab the 200 token. So if I go in here, go to the source, and I said count 200, and then I do the minimum ID, that's what the documentation said that this should be called, is that one. It runs. So now we have the new query that we need to do. So we can go here, add column, custom column, put it in there, and then instead of count, now you need to be super careful. So you need to close these and feed pages and concatenate it with these and that. Close that one and then in here, you are going to put the next ID and click OK, and then run it. And if you did it correctly, it should return the instances for the first 200. You can actually delete this totally. This is going to be our instances. And then we're going to expand to new. And now we have all the instances for the first 500. Now, if you want all of them, so in our list, we go back to total divided by 100. Convert to table, 
rename columns, change type, add custom column and let it load. We're going to expand pagination and then here get rid of the ones that are empty. So it doesn't give you any error, close and apply. And now you have all the instances in there. So it loaded and I actually did just a quick uh, review of what the data looked like. There are like 4,296 uh, instances or servers. And it said that it was 2 billion users. And I know for a fact that that is not true. So it was only like, what was going on? So I put the name of the servers with the users and then did the a sort and look at that. Somebody created a server just to fool the API. So you think your fake numbers are impressive? Well, this system contains all living humans, which they don't. But anyhow, so you need to get rid of that in order to have a fair shot to know how many active users you have and master them. But hopefully this video was useful and it taught you a little bit more how to get data from APIs. I will see you again tomorrow on Friday and we're going to start our Python series. So see you. Bye bye.